So this leads me right into a great question that's just come in on Twitter. And it speaks to one of the issues I think is so key at the moment. People feel as if they've been told to eat their broccoli and they've done everything wrong for such a long time. And, and I think there's an effort to change the way we think about climate. But listen to this. So this is uh, from Daniel Burrows, who says, with your experience, <laughs> storytelling and captivating audiences across the globe, how can we turn the climate conversation from gloom and doom into a story about excitement and opportunity? Yeah, right on, Daniel. Uh, oh, look, isn't that always the thing? I mean, can we just take pause and think about the last several years? Forget where we are, you know, politically and uh, and with all the the conflicts going on just at this moment. But what a strange few years! And I don't think any of us wanted to wind up in a place where we're complaining within the fact of, of you know, there's still so much to be grateful for. But uh, sometimes it's that tear down attitude. It's that kind of pessimistic uh, optimism that people think is showing temperance. When in fact, I'll just speak for me. This is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be hard work. It's supposed to feel stressful because the clock is ticking. But how do we retain the enthusiasm? And, and you know, like they say in aviation, attitude is altitude. So when I wake up in the morning and I see a, uh, a source panel that's making drinkable water out of uh, pulling it from these solar panels and in, in, in the atmosphere, I go, wow, you know, that's that's magic. And yet it's just a device that people created. Or when I look at these tulip turbines that are defraying some of the um, the energy uh, pull from the grid on my property, I go, we need to walk around inside these technologies and embrace them fully. And I think that you get, you really get a buzz from it because I can boot my, you know, 57 year old brain up in the morning and get all bummed out and judgmental and critical about things. Or I can, again, like I did, you know, th uh, three years back, I can, I can say, all right, like it or lump it, whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, I'm going to do something about it. And, and more than anything, as I'm continuing in my education, I think if we're, one thing is clear now uh, in these last uh, 17 minutes is I have a wildly incomplete education about this. So rather <laughs> than fearing that, like I get to talk to you today, you get to put me on point. You know, I get to look at the things I need to reacquaint myself with and, and, uh, and get more specific about. 